Hey guys, so today we're going to be analysing the results of the 2018 Senate election in the state of Tennessee. This is a very, very uh, interesting race to say the least. So format of today's video, we're going to start off by looking at the previous results, including the Texas gubernatorial elections from 2002 and 2006. Now why this is important, this is where Phil Bredesen trounced both opponents. We're also going to <coughs> we're also going to look at where the predictions had it, and um, actually the only one who actually had it correct was 538. In fact, I had gone on a bit of a rant of calling them um, set saying that it's not likely Republican. I was wrong. It was in fact likely Republican. Um, <coughs> Again, many people did think that Marsha Blackburn had a slight lean here. I agreed. I had it as leaning. So we're going to look at the previous results. Then we're going to go and look at the polling. Then we'll look at the results and compare it to my prediction. So let's start off with looking at the previous results. Now, in the Texas gubernatorial election in 2006, we had Phil Bredesen and Jim Bryson, I guess that's how you say it. Look at the county map here. I, I just want you to just pull it open in a new tab. There we go. Look at the county map there. It's all blue. There's not one red county in the entire state of Tennessee. Now let's compare it to the county map now. Now, compare this now they're different sizes, but compare this, that's all blue, to this. Marsha Blackburn swept every single county in the state of Tennessee, minus three. Three counties for Phil Bredesen, compared to, well, I, I don't know how many counties there are in the state of Tennessee, but he had every single county, which is very, very impressive for a Democrat in Tennessee when he wasn't really as well known in 2002, he won very narrowly with 50.6% of the vote to the Republican 476 Again, very impressive for a Democrat in the state of Tennessee. Very, very impressive. It kind of also just shows how partisan we're beginning to get, right? In 2002, and even definitely in 2006, voters voted for the candidate that they knew and who they thought would be the better person in the gubernatorial office. Now, in 2018, we just vote down the ballot. We vote for whoever is kind of who we normally vote for and we just look at the party, we don't look at the nominee, which is probably a bad thing. Like, it's not necessarily the best thing just to be always voting down the ballot. Um, looking at previous results, def definitely beneficial for Phil Bredesen. This map was why people thought he had a very good chance at winning. In one of my first 2018 Senate predictions, um, in my first analysis of the Tennessee Senate race, I had this in the leaning Democratic direction, even pushing it into likely Democratic direction because I thought that he could maintain this coalition. However, in fact, he could not maintain this coalition. The coalition that he formed in 2006 as governor crashed and burned, and they went and voted down the ballot for the Republicans, right? Now, um, if, I, if I just want to go back just for one sec to the presidential election, just don't mind me. Sorry, just one sec. There we go. And um, let's just compare it to this year's Senate election. Okay, so let's take a look at the county map from the 2016 presidential race. This was a 
state that Trump won overwhelmingly. He trounced Hillary Clinton in the state. But guess what? She still won three counties. Guess what? These are very similar three counties. Let me just make sure that that's the actual one. Same county. And then those two down south. Same two counties. It's the same as 2016. So I think this says that candidate quality. Yes, it does matter, but it doesn't matter as much as it did before. Hillary Clinton was not a good candidate for the state of Tennessee. Phil Bredesen was one of the best candidates for the state of Tennessee. He was a former governor. He was he left office with something like a 70% approval rating, and he got trounced winning three counties in the state. It shows that candidate quality matters, but not as much as it used to. And people vote often down ballot. So Democrats in Tennessee, hardly any of them. Same thing with Republicans in New York or California. Democrats in Tennessee, they, they, this is kind of their final hope. And it, it kind of crashed and burned with all sincere honesty. Now, done looking at the previous results, overall, it shows that people are just voting down ballot. In addition, in addition, I want to take a look at the governor's election this year in, 20, in 2018. Okay. So I just wait for while I find this one. Okay, I'm just trying to find it. Just one sec. Okay. Um, sorry, just just a won't be a second. Uh, sorry, just wait. Just one sec. Here we go. Uh, okay, great. They don't have the map for it. But anyway. Um, sorry, guys. I'm really sorry you have to keep waiting. Just hold there just for one sec. I, I'm really sorry. This is this is really not not working. Here we go. Now let's take a look. Those same three counties voted for the Democrat Carl Dean in the race, right? Nashville, right? Haywood County and Memphis all voted, and then the rest a sweep, clean sweep. For them, same three counties, it's just seventy percent compared to sixty-two percent, uh, fifty-eight percent, and fifty-five percent. Yes, so some people are not voting down ballot, but most people are, and that is not good for our kind of democracy, if you will. So I'm really sorry I had to keep you waiting. I was trying to find and compare that because I think it is very important. Now, let's now take a look at the polling data in the race. Um, it's, it's, it was beneficial towards the Democrats. Up until there. Up until there, right? Up until... Uh, you know about about that sort of time frame up until kind of mid September. Then, right there, right there, the race turned away from the GOP. With the Fox News poll showing Blackburn plus five, plus eight, and after that, she pretty much never looked back. She continued to lead in almost all the polls taken. Now. Two outliers, Bredesen plus one and a tie. However, these were polls with a lot of undecided voters. 
This is something else I wanted to point out. Look at the real clear politics average. No, no person is at 50%. 49.2, 44.0. But then Phil Bredesen did pretty much the same as what the polling suggested. However, Marsh, where Marsha Blackburn got her lead from 5.2 to 10.8 was she bought back the Republican base in the state of Tennessee, like many people expected. They were saying, well, you know, I know they're saying Bredesen, Bredesen's ahead, but look, look, there's undecided voters, see? And they're going to go for the Republicans at the end of the day, and now I can see that argument. <clears throat> I thought that... I, I didn't really think that Republicans were going to come back for Marsha Blackburn, uh, given the candidate quality. Trump going to Tennessee a few times definitely helped not hurt Marsha Blackburn. And, um, yeah, so overall polling, pretty much beneficial to Marsha Blackburn in the home stretch. So now, finally, let's take a look at my prediction compared to the final results. So... Final results showed Blackburn winning by about 10 points. That's pretty good going against a former governor with who left office with like a 60% approval rating, right? I had it in the leaning Republican column. In fact, it was likely Republican, so that moves it one spot more Republican than where I thought it would be. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Next time, I'm going to wrap this series up. I'm going to be taking a look at Indiana. That'll be coming out tomorrow, the Indiana Senate race. And then then the day after that, I'll look at the state of West Virginia and that Senate race. Then I will go into more deep analysis of the overall scope of the Senate governor and House races. Um, I'll probably keep talking about 2018 until about... Until about early December, then once once December rolls around, we'll start looking ahead towards 2020. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment down suggestions below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.